Yeah. Got me in this party all up in the zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mama. Just can't get you off me. G2A are reliable, cheap, and quick, and the link is in the description down below. Yo, what is up YouTube? Zinx here. Connect girls with a brand new awkward moments. So yes, you did hear that correctly. I am recording another awkward moments, and this is going to be the fourth awkward moments. And uh, you're also probably wondering why on earth is a Borderlands pre-sequel gameplay in the background, and it's because um, I just wanted to change it up from the usual of like COD or, or Black Ops or FIFA. So just something different, and I wasn't trying. As you can tell, I'm a level 50 playing against level 26s in normal, not true Vault Hunter mode. So, like I said, I was just messing around, but I think I should get straight into the video and sort of set the scene. So, it was in the last week of term at school before we broke up for the five and a half or six weeks we have off, which is currently now for me. So, um, I had PE on that day, and I think it was currently a Tuesday. Yep, yeah, it was Tuesday for me, and I had PE. And uh, me being the little noob I am at football, um, I topo the ball really, really hard. Like when I say really hard, I mean like I, I never, I don't think I've ever kicked a ball that hard in my life. And my toe was hurting so, so bad. And um, and when we came back into the changing rooms at the end of the day, I just couldn't be bothered to get changed. So uh, I was just chilling in uh, in my PE kit, trying to sneak out because I'm a savage and. And you're actually supposed to get changed before you leave the changing rooms. But me being the beast I am, <laughs> I snuck out in the crowd and I, I didn't get caught. Um, I was just joking that I know myself I'm not a savage. That's just a joke before like, I get roasted for me thinking I'm a savage. I know I'm not. Um, but anyway, so my shoes were like, my school shoes were getting quite worn out. And I honestly didn't do this on purpose, but I did need a way to get rid of them. And I left them in the changing rooms overnight without me realising um, when... Um, I stayed in my PE kit because I didn't get changed because I did injure my toe. So it all sort of did like go sort of to plan without me planning it. It just sort of happened. And uh, basically what happened is, like I said, I did leave it overnight. And then um, I came back home and went to sleep, got ready for school and stuff the next day. And then I woke up and I was going to put my school shoes on. I was like, wait a sec, where are my school shoes? And then I, I was like looking around for like five minutes maybe, ten tops. And uh, I couldn't find them. So I was sort of thinking, where could they like, be? I either put them in the shoe cabinet, or I just left them uh, in the hallway. So I was looking, and I couldn't find them. So I'm thinking to myself, did I leave them at school? And then I thought, how could I leave my shoes at school? And then I thought, I didn't get changed. So then I was like, okay, I think I know what I've got to do. So I told my mum, and she was like, ah, oh, did you might as well just wear your trainers? So I was like, yeah, I might as well wear my trainers. Plus, they're getting really uncomfortable on me as well, because they're wearing away. So, it, it, you know, it did sort of like out all good and that until uh, I went to school I didn't get caught but my mom wrote a note but she said if if he doesn't find his school shoes he's allowed to wear trainers so I was like okay that that's acceptable but then uh, um, I realized that I need to get rid of the evidence and go into the changing rooms and make sure that no one ever knows uh, I left my shoes in there so um, well I was on my break M uh, me and my friends we went into the changing rooms we snuck in no one was in there though I ain't no pedo um, or stalker and uh, well, while I was in there because uh, that was in the hall of something or out so uh, I, I snuck in there I found my shoes ch hiding and chilling in the corner so um, I pick them up I look around, make sure no one's in there, no one is in there, and there's obviously no cameras in that room. So, me being the beast I am, um, I picked up the shoes, um, I dropped them in the bin, and the second I dropped them in the bin, like literally the split second I dropped them in the bin, the PE teacher opens the door and says something along the lines of, uh, what's going on here, lads? Something like that, it probably wasn't exactly that, but it was something like that. He said, like, what's going on? And then uh, I was just, oh, um, 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 nothing, I'm just uh, um, looking for my uh, school shoes. And then he was like, oh, we, uh, we did have some school shoes here. And then I was like, oh, God, does he know? Does he know? And then he looked and was like, oh, they're not there anymore. And then I was like, Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Oh, okay, then. If you end up seeing... Um, the school shoes if you could just email my form tutor I would appreciate that like me acting as if I want my shoes back when really really I didn't and um, I, I don't know if you saw or not because um, like the second he opened the door 
was the second I dropped him, but he didn't like put his head round and see into the room. Um, so I, I really couldn't tell whether he saw it or not. So for the rest of the day, I was worrying like, am I gonna get into trouble? No, because I don't like getting into trouble at school because it's just annoying because the teachers be shouting at you and you can't do nothing back because if you do, it's like the tension. It's like the tension. It's just, it's just hella annoying. So basically, um, after that. And the, the next day I came home and I told my mum like, oh yeah, I couldn't find my shoes. But me knowing that I dropped them in the bin. Um, so the next day I go to school wearing my trainers, chilling. Um, I was really comfortable. There were black trainers as well, so the teachers probably wouldn't say anything. And then uh, the next day after that was Thursday. And I had gathering that, that day, which is like assembly, whatever you want to call it. And I knew that I couldn't get away with wearing trainers. So I was thinking, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then because we did have PE on that day as well, I went into the changing rooms. And then, uh, so I was like, oh, Liam, can I have a quick word with you? And I was like, oh, okay. So then he, he ends up saying, we did find these shoes. He says, but you won't believe we found them. And I was like, where was I? In the bin. And I was like, oh my God, is he going to make me wear them? And he literally... He, he, he like did a joke or something and he picked up the shoes, pretended it was a phone and was like, hello, um, are, are you Liam's shoes? And I, I was like cringing inside and just thinking, oh, please stop, I don't want to wear these, please, please stop. But anyway, the P teachers, um, there was two of them, are quite chill. Um, so even if they did say, I mean, even if they did see, I don't think they would have said anything because I just basically put shoes in the bin it's not that bad but it, it was literally so awkward when he, he like said he picked them out the bin and said i have to wear them and all my friends knowing that i've already put them in the bin and um, saw me wearing them for the rest of the day so i was basically wearing shoes that have been in the bin overnight god knows what was in the bin luckily there was no like chewing gum or like trash or rubbish whatever um like in my shoe or on my shoe so i was quite lucky there but god knows what was actually in the bin but I don't know how I really describe this, I sort of tried to describe it in the best way I possibly could. But if you do want to see another awkward moment, if you could drop a like in this video, um, I would really appreciate that. Um, if you're new to the channel, if you could subscribe, I would appreciate that too. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sorry dude.